Hello there, my Sagittarius Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Sagittarius. Nine of Swords here. How appropriate. Two to the High Priestess energy. Oh. Don't let yourself be overwhelmed now. There's like some really good vibes you should be tapping into. So make sure you're tapping into the good. Uh, pay attention to your favorite astrologer. There's a lot of interesting things astrologically going on, astronomically going on. So uh, allow this sort of nice balanced vibe with you. Definitely some of y'all could be focusing on your shadow work or your shadow work could be uh, of importance to you right now. Don't let yourself be overwhelmed either. I mean, my goodness, Sagittarius. <sighs> I don't know, breathing exercises with you, whatever uh, brings about this beautifully balanced energy. Don't let yourself react or respond because that makes all the difference. The fact that you're not reacting or responding makes all the difference. Lord, if y'all can pick that up in tarot land, you're going to be good. You're going to be good. Damn, this is like double-sided protection with you, too. So I love that, Sagittarius. This is a full moon read, Sagittarius. I'm a, a little late getting these done. But damn, your all's energy has been so interesting and fascinating here of late. Uh, I like it. These three were in the wrong direction. So what's up with this? What's up with this with you? That is that energy. If someone's watching you, someone's watching them watching you. So those of you with uh, your faith, right? Keep the faith. Keeping the faith. Ba -dum -bum, bum -bum -bum, ba -dum -bum. That's a good Billy Joel song. Ooh, a lot of good Billy Joel songs. Uh, what's this vibe? Ooh, there's an Ace of Cups. Definitely your intuition is on point, but you need to stay grounded and focused. Grounded and focused. Heavy on the intuition. So, damn Sagittarius, what's this vibe that you're feeling? You guys had this come up before, uh, Sagittarius. That's also like the sugar cube in the champagne glass. So there's a lot of like blessings energy when it comes to you, but damn, you gotta stay focused on you. This is this energy too, and be mindful of uh, who's in your energy, who's in your vibe, who's sitting at your fucking table. Right? Crown on that, you got the Ten of Wands. Yeah, some of y'all should be focusing on your shadow work, and now's a good time to do the shadow work. This is a lot of release energy. Releasing those burdens, releasing those uh, sort of negative vibes you don't need. Street smart and wise here. You're that Two of Swords energy, so balance and focus. There's that Five of Swords. So avoiding any conflict. Those of you being very mindful of the, the sort of mental energy around you too. So be mindful of uh, the media you're consuming. Be mindful of what uh, is important to you. That just feels like taking care of yourself. Some of y'all, grapes, vine, right? Maybe it's a good wine time. This is like a good relaxing energy. Ooh. There's like a natural vibe to this too. Uh, Sagittarius. So some of y'all could be uh, detoxing from uh, anything unhealthy that you don't need. Those of you doing the shadow work, being mindful of what you are focusing on. So you could be eating better. You could be uh, doing things to make yourself feel better. This is like a good vacation. This is like a good spa treatment. Treating yourself. It's okay to splurge. Definitely reward yourself for the work that you've done, too. It doesn't have to be all that extravagant, but don't forget to reward yourself for doing the work. Oh, and you're definitely doing the work. This is also be mindful of all that manipulative energy out there. Because those of you, especially if you're feeling like your intuition is on point, yeah, you could be tapping into a lot of energy that you don't need. Some of you could be noticing that, the advertisements that come up, and uh, the different things that show up on your feeds uh take what's yours leave what the fuck is it right so what's the energy here there's the seven of cups 
There's the Eight of Pentacles. There's the Ten of Pentacles. There's the Hierophant energy. And above all that else, you have the Nine of Cups. Ooh. Positive best blessings vibes. So, Sagittarius, those of you, if you find yourself feeling overwhelmed, if you find yourself just uh, focusing on just the negative, uh, cut yourself some slack, stay focused on the positive, do the work that you need to do, and just focus more on yourself. There's a lot of clearing work you need to do. So, this is like detoxing, this is like filtering, maybe some of you are going to go through and uh, clean things up when it comes to the energy that you're in, some of y'all... Uh, simplifying the work that you need to do. If you're going through something on a spiritual level here with that Hierophant, right? Uh, just taking some time to meditate, give thanks. Some of y'all taking communion. That could be important to you. I don't know. It's such beautiful energy. Don't muck it up. Uh, because for some of you, it's going to be so easy to muck it up. Try not to react or respond, because a lot of you, if you're not reacting or responding, then it doesn't sort of have the vibe uh, that it needs in order to work. So, trusting your intuition on something. In Sagittarius, y'all have been, like, kicked around quite a bit. So, this is kind of be mindful of that energy. Taking the time that you need, taking, the, taking a break from what you don't need. Hmm. This is like a decluttering type vibe, too. There at that Seven of Cups. Ooh, there's a lot wanting to come out on this. What's the vibe here? Eight of Cups. There's the Five of Cups. There's the Moon vibes. There's the Strength. There's the Four of Pentacles. There's the High Priestess energy. Sweet Jesus. You know what song this feels like? Cause I'm working my way back to you, babe. With a burning love inside. Who wants to come in all passionate? Be mindful of who wants to ride in and be that sort of knight in shining armor. Yeah. That is not what the fuck you need. So, those of you, be mindful. Be mindful fucking manifesting, right? There's the tower of vibes. Some of y'all definitely doing your shadow work. That's really going to be of importance to you right now. And that's whatever the fuck that is with you, Sagittarius. You know you. Mm -hmm. Queen of Swords, Four of Swords. There are the Two of Swords. There's the sun vibes. So whatever you're dealing with, whoever you're dealing with, whatever this energy is, you got the clarity that you need. So you can decide if it's worth your time, energy, attention or not. Um, don't spend too much time on something. If you need to think about it or it brings you any sort of uh, stress, that's not uh, a relationship or partnership that you need. Some of you learning not to react or respond is the, the greatest gift you can give yourself. Because it doesn't give it that sort of vibe if you're not feeding into it, right? Whatever this energy is when it comes to you. This doesn't have to be distinctly with you, uh, Sagittarius. This is a full moon reading. So this could be that sort of uh, just the energy around that you need to be mindful of. Kind of the general vibes. The general vibes. So a lot of filtering here. So be mindful of uh, what you consume. Be mindful of that sort of energy around you. I know that sounds cheesy as fuck, but you all get it, right? Those of you bombardment uh, with advertisers or different... Where's, uh, where's, the, where's the algorithm taking you now, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
definitely uh, pay attention to the astronomy. Astronomy and astrology. There's some interesting things going on with that, too. Kind of use that as like the old farmer's almanac. So take what's yours, leave what's not. Hmm. Damn Sagittarius. This is like a good filtering energy. So some of y'all, now might be the time to change your filters. Maybe water fit uh, pitchers, air pitchers, air conditioning pit, uh, filters, filters. Five of Cups of the Page of Swords. Yeah, when you don't react and you don't respond, you don't, you're not getting that sort of response. Those of you, especially if you pay attention, here's the Piscean energy. So this is going to come down to your beliefs. Some of y'all just use it as kind of like you would the farmer's almanac. Right? You've got a lot of unhappy cross-watcher energy, Sagittarius. But you've had that energy for a while. So, damn. This is kind of like, don't react and don't respond. If you believe they put a man on the moon, man on the moon. Ooh. It's that double Piscean energy. So, damn. It is that sort of gravitational effect as well, right? So, this is like uh, the dark side of the moon or the other side of the moon. Actually, isn't always dark. We just don't see it because of the gravitational lock between the moon and the earth. So, some of y'all just be mindful of that energy. <sighs> Focus on the good. Focus on the good. Very uncluttered, unfiltered vibe. So. It's good manifesting energy as well. So, happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Trust your intuition, too. A lot of you, your intuition is on point. So now's a uh, good time to do any problem solving. Now's a good time to work through any shadow work or anything you've been putting off. Uh, damn. You're cross watchers. I don't know. You're good, though. Stay focused on you, Sagittarius. Don't react, don't respond. Is that not, like, perfect for that Pisces card? Don't react, don't respond. Positive vibes only, babe. Mm. Take what's yours, leave what's not. Like, share, subscribe. Peace, love, and light.